I want to talk a little bit about a divine medicinal called Uncaria tomatosa, otherwise known as Uno de Gato, or as we commonly call it, Cat's Claw. Uh, it comes from the Rubiaceae family, and th this is a divine medicinal good for many, many things, so please stay tuned into this. It, it, its main action is it's an immune stimulant. It's anti-inflammatory, it's anti-mutagenic, meaning it's a cellular protector, it's anti-cancerous. It is anti-ulcerous, very, very protecting, uh, this divine medicinal is. The Ashinaka tribe of Peru have been using this for thousands of years. And it, it, they believe the model of health is, is that we have within us, we have a spiritual, we have a physical, and then there is a mediator like such as nature and herbs and medicinals. And they believe creator source energy. They believe all three. Uh, are needed to heal the body, and the cat's claw specifically w was used by by priests and shamans to act as a mediator to heal the body. It this this is something that grows abundantly in the rainforest. Uh, that they they do not have sickness and disease there where where all of this is being used on a daily basis, and we need to get familiar with how we can start to consume this divine bark. Uh, this divine root to heal our conditions, and I'm going to talk about it in this video. It's used as a bowel cleanser. Its its main use is as an anti-inflammatory uh, medicinal. It's wonderful for Crohn's and colitis, diverticulitis, irritable bowel syndromes, and other bowel problems. It's wonderful for arthritis of all types. Why? Because it targets the immune system. It 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 decreases inflammation. It's used daily uh, as a general tonic uh, to tone, to balance, to strengthen the body functions. It can be used for stomach ulcers and ulcerative colitis and as an ulcer preventative. It's wonderful for uh, the stomach and acts as a bowel protector. It's very, very good for our digestive system in general. It is anti-inflammatory, anti-ulcerous, anti-cancerous, anti-depressant. It's anti. It's a powerful antiviral. Uh, it is, uh, and it's a contraceptive. They use it in super high quantities. They they use it as for that reason because it will help to prevent against that. And it's also an immune stimulant. It's it's a it's an analgesic. This is going to take the pain away really really fast. If you will watch my last video where we learned how to encapsulate our own uh, turmeric, ginger, cayenne, along with black pepper. Uh, that co that combination of uh, of amino acids works synergistically in the body to raise all of the vibrations and the, and when you begin to incorporate things like the cat claw in addition to blends like that is really when a lot of the healing occurs in our body we're we are sick now because we are depleted we're depleted in key nutrients such as copper uh, and and this this is uh, this is a result of the the nanoparticles and the heavy metals and the poisons and pollutants that are defiling our temple our vessel our body uh, this is locking down the vibrational vortex energies within the body uh, this is lowering the vibrations this is acidifying the body uh, overgrowth of candida fungal parasitic condition has uh, taken over, and we've got a zombie apocalypse amongst us with people not thinking clearly. Uh, there is no silence of the mind. There is only fear, worry, chaos, and confusion. Uh, this is an inflamed state, and we need to disconnect from all of this to heal our condition. You need to get connected with divine phytonutrients such as the cat's claw to heal your condition. It does everything. It does everything. That's the reason why I'm excited to talk some about this. So uh, please stay tuned in. I'm going to try not to go down the rabbit hole too deep with this. I will probably rant just a little bit in this video regarding, because there are companies that are selling this labeled as cat's claw, and this is not real cat's claw. Please know there's two forms of this, and we don't need to be taking the, the form 
form that is not the Uncaria tomatosa, and I will write that in the description so that you can just search that, and when you're buying this, you can just buy it by that. But uh, I, w I would prefer you just to buy the bark organic from the source from the Amazonian rainforest. It comes from Peru. Uh, buy it straight from the source uh, because it grows abundantly there, and it's it's relatively inexpensive. So uh, please know that th that this can be taken daily to heal your condition. But now after you, after your body is less toxic and some of the conditions are restored, we don't want to be taking this every day after at this point. Uh, we need to learn how these phytonutrients work and and get in harmony with these to know how they can if increase our vibrations and heal our conditions. We we really don't need to be taking one specific herb every day forever for any reason because after you heal your conditions, you'll find that a lot of these divine, these stronger divine medicinals we, we can back off of. But in the beginning, if you want to repair and correct and restore some balance back to the body, you absolutely can take quite a bit of this in my opinion. But everyone needs to have this in their medicine cabinet. Uh, I was excited to make this video, which is what prompted me to do this next rather than the video I was going to do on copper because I'm about to do a, a video on copper uh, and, and explain to you how I make my own copper and we need to be making these divine copper shungite elixirs to take to increase our, our copper intake in our body because a lot of us are really, really depleted in copper. Key, key nutrients and minerals were depleted in magnesium and potassium and vitamin D and, and we need to increase our intake in vitamin C so that we can stimulate some of the healing uh, that the body can produce naturally on its own. We need we need copper zinc to stimulate the superoxide dismutase. This is a master antioxidant that is that the body will naturally produce on its own after the liver and the colon are detoxified. But the, I picked this up at my local health food store, and I'm really really pleased with this. Uh, this uh, please know that please know that my local health food store. Uh, let me try to focus in so you can see this. My local health food store is not a big box operation. I don't like to support these big box corporations because they sell genetically modified and poisonous ingredients, low vibrations. So I don't support these ones that are in the shade of gray. I try to support the ones that only sell all natural, organic, non-genetically modified sources. And this is. This is made by Whole World Botanicals. I don't work for these companies. I just found this one to be beneficial. But it's it says Royal Cat's Claw Immune Support. Uh, on the bottle, it specifically says that it is good for the heart. It's very wonderful to it's wonderful to strengthen the heart, and it's just good for an overall immune strengthener. The in, the instructions on this say take one to two teaspoons on an empty stomach once a day for four to five days out of the week. Uh, this says it supports the immune system functions, productions of T cells, DNA repair. Macrophage activity supports a healthy inflammatory response. Wonderful for digestive bowel health. It's safe for people with autoimmune conditions. So that's what it's telling you on the bottle. And I found this one to be quite effective, meaning they've more than likely they've processed this correctly. There's not a lot of there's not nano there's not a lot of nanoparticle heavy metal pollutants inside this because it comes from a good source, and so th this these are the tinctures that you want to be buying and taking. Uh, support the smaller companies that that do this these herbs correctly and put this in glass. Uh, not not a lot of these big box corporations, and it and it needs to specifically say on the bottle. This is the most important part. So let me focus in on this. It needs to say Oncaria tomatosa, and that says clearly, inner bark. The only other ingredients in this are vegetable glycerin, grain alcohol, and water. Read what these other ingredients are in this stuff that you're taking, because some of these ingredients that we are consuming are, contain nanoparticle heavy metal uh, pollutants in them, and this is only further increasing the toxicity issue within the body. These, the, the, Our organs are working very, very efficiently to remove the nanoparticles, specifically nano aluminum aluminum and nanomercury, and it's pushing them down into our lower extremities. We have a heavy feeling in our legs oftentimes because of the accumulation of these nanoparticles as we're detoxifying the body. They don't go anywhere. You're consuming all of this poisonous food, and you have for years. It's raining down toxins in the air, and this is not leaving the body. This has accumulated for years and years within the body, and we have got to detoxify from this, and the cat's claw is going to help you to do that. Now, let me get into it. It is a vine. 
It's a woody vine bark with naturally occurring phytonutrients. It contains all uh, many, many phytonutrients in a, in a very wonderful ratio, it, including immune-stimulating alkaloids, anti-inflammatory glycosides, antioxidants, uh, the... Research on it. Uh, this, when you research this herb, look up the look up the divine ancient uh, information regarding this, because you will you will discover that in Peru they use this for abscesses, AIDS, arthritis, asthma, blood cleansing, bone pains, cancer, cirrhosis, diabetes, diarrhea, disease prevention, dysentery, fevers, gastric ulcers, gastritis, gonorrhea, hemorrhages, herpes, immune disorders, inflammation, intestinal afflictions, menstrual irritation irregularity, kidney cleansing, rheumatism, shingles, prostate issues, skin disorders, stomach disorders, ulcers, urinary tract disorders, tumors, and wounds. Uh, so th there's not much that this, that this divine uh, bark will not do for you. It's been clinically documented with for its immune stimulating effects. Uh, cat's claw vine bark requires sufficient stomach acid to help break down the tannins and alkaloids during digestion uh, and to aid in absorption. After taking bark capsules or I don't really recommend tablets uh, because ta a lot of the tablets have the nanoparticles in them. So just get the bark and make, make your own tea. Uh, extra extract the divine essences from the bark yourself and drink this a couple times a day. Uh, the, avoid taking... Uh, Avoid taking the capsules at the same time that you're taking a lot of the other stuff, uh, okay? So this is something really that you, you can take it in conjunction with buffers, such as the blend that I showed you about in the previous video with the ginger in it. Uh, you can take it with things like that, but you can't take it with a lot, with many other things because it, it's a standalone healing route. It needs to go in by itself, and it needs to work to repair and regenerate and stimulate. It's going to work to bring some balance back to the, the digestive system quite fast and see this through this is what we need to work on. Uh, we're locked down currently because our 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 root, uh, the uh, sac sacral energy, sacred energy at the base uh, is locked down, and it's keeping us very much in the third dimension. And we need to raise our vibrations so we can resonate out of this misery and this chaos, uh, this this confusion state that we are all in and the cat's claw is going to help you to do this because it's going to restore some harmony to the digestive system immediately immediately it's going to bring it back into balance quite fast uh, large doses of cat's claw between three and four gram doses at, at a time have been reported to cause some abdominal pain and gastrointestinal problems including diarrhea due to the high tannin content of the vine and some people this will occur in large large quantities uh, the diarrhea or loose stools tend to be very mild and they they do go away with continued use so just know that if you're taking large quantities in the beginning you could have a few side effects buffer it with chamomile and ginger if you need to uh, but but if you want if you I recommend taking higher high start with just a little bit of this herb and then build up to using more and more is what is my recommendation uh, learn how this vibrates and then get get pretty serious with it pretty fast if you if you are extremely ill or sick or have some horrific condition you can take quite large large quantities of this and this is going to work to repair and restore and regenerate that's what it does but just use common sense with it because you, it it doesn't it doesn't play nice with any chemicals meaning if you're taking prescriptions that toxify the liver it's not going to work in conjunction with this we need to use medicinals like cat's claw so that we do not have to take prescriptions uh, there there is no reason at any given point that we need a chemical or a toxin a synthetic unnatural substance to heal our body because that's not going to happen uh, due, so, but due to its powerful immune stimulant effects, it should not be used in conjunction with medications that, that specifically suppress the immune system. But we don't need to be taking those anyway. Based on in vivo rat studies, Clat's Claw may protect uh, the, uh, the, the entire digestive system. It is...
Hang on, there was some... Oh, I want to go through a few research, uh, a little bit of research on it real quick, and then I'll end this video, because I want to try to keep this one shorter. Uh, cat's claw may offer benefit to people at risk of certain types of cancers. In a study, the main active ingredient of cat's claw inhibited cell growth without cell death, meaning it's going to trigger and stimulate apoptosis, which is the death of the cancer cell. It leads to DNA repair, immune stimulation and anti-inflammation and just as an overall cancer preventative. In another study, uh, CMAD100 inhibited nuclear factor Kappa B, NF Kappa B activity, and this at least partially caused the inhibition of proliferation. Uh, further, a hot water extract of cat's claw inhibited T and B lymphocyte proliferation. Uh, in a different study, in addition to anti-mutagenic activity, cat's claw extracts exerted a direct anti-proliferative activity on MCF7, a human breast cancer cell line. So it's going to be wonderful for breast cancer. Cat's, cat's claw appeared to prevent O3-induced respiratory inflammation in male mice. The anti-inflammatory anti act activity was found to be significantly higher using the hydroalcoholic compared with the aqueous extract. Uh, thus, Clats Claw may benefit people at risk of certain inflammation in a study of mice. Uh, the main active component in Clats Claw significantly prolonged lymphocyte survival. So it's very good for people with uh, leukopenia. Uh, it helps to accelerate the recovery. For arthritis, in a clinical trial, an extract of cat's claw Ancaria tomatosa was found to be effective in treating rheumatoid arthritis with reduction of pain and swelling, as, as swelling in the joints as evidence. Only minor, minor side effects were observed in the study. Cat's claw was also found to be effective uh, treatment for osteoarthritis in a trial of 45 patients. Uh, they found actually in that study that both cat's claw species are effective antioxidants, but their anti-inflammatory properties may result from their, in, their ability to inhibit TNF-alpha and lesser extent PGE2 production. Uh, thus, cat's claw may benefit people who suffer from arthritis and just pain and inflammation just in general. For DNA repair, in a study of rats, re repair of DNA, uh, single and double strand breaks were observed after MED 100 treatment. That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, this is a research that I'm referring to, MED 100. There is a possibility that cat's claw may benefit people at risk of mutation, but of course more studies are needed to verify this. You know, they don't, they don't really, st the, the studies that they do have on these divine medicinals, they don't do correctly, and uh, many of them aren't studied to the fullest extent that they need to be studied to. Why? Because they don't study divine medicinals. They would rather prescribe a drug and keep us all sick and keep us all inflamed and keep us all locked down. If, if you study this, like like you can take this, uh, you would find that it would re repair and restore and correct many of these conditions that we've got. And I, and I say that with love, and I will tell you how we need to be taking this. The, the disclaimer that I'll tell you on this is out of Latin America, they're, they're, they're selling something called cat's claw, and it's, it's, it's not even of the Rubia C family. So it's a completely different species, and this is not cat's claw. And see, they're labeling it cat's claw, so you need to check your label on this and make sure you're getting the real deal. Make sure it's not heated to such a degree that it destroys the phytonutrient components. Make sure that it's processed correctly through some sort of supercritical extraction to get the divine essence out of the bark. Otherwise, just buy the bark and make your own. And yes, of course, we do have to use some heat to extract the uh, the essence, but then we just want to consume this right away. You, you can make this tea and consume this right away or buy the liquid tincture. And, and consume this. Uh, I follow the instructions on this, but then you could get aggressive with taking this pretty rapidly for your, for your condition. Let me, let me see. I wrote down something else. I want to make sure that I cover it all. It, it, this grow, it grows to be about 30 meters high. It, There, let me also tell you that there is some research regarding this showing that one of the, 
one of the uh, alkaloids is good and one is bad and we need more of the good so we're a specific company that's making this correctly and we're extracting this one good alkaloid and we're leaving the other out no uh, this is false research this does not this this is not this this is not what the thousands of years of information regarding this divine medicinal show so don't 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 study uh, the, don't research these herbs on individual companies that are marketing a, a certain products saying that they're the only ones that make this correctly because most of these studies are disinformation because they're just backed by that one company they don't have any scientific findings within them because they have they have extracted them incorrectly and they've researched them incorrectly because they have an agenda you know for example a, a plant doesn't come up with a new chemotype and that's what one of the studies shows that shows that that one of the alkaloids is good and one is bad and we can't have this other one and this may be the case in a poisonous toxic plant or medicinal of course we have to know you know many of the people today wouldn't be able to survive in the forest because they wouldn't be able to tell what is what is healing to the body and what is not because many of these things that are in the forest we cannot up consume and take but of course the Uncaria tomatosa is in a class all of its own of course we can consume this there are varieties of it that are oranger the flowers on this are going to be yellow the ones with the orange and the thorny st the stems are uh, not and and see they're they're classifying this as cat's claw this is the reason why I mentioned this so so make sure that you're buying the the real deal uh, I, I I can't stress that enough but but the, 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 this research showed that that some of this some of this cat's claw was not had to be processed a certain way to get the good alkaloids out and this is simply just disinformation regarding this It contains five of the oxindole alkaloids that have been clinically documented with in vitro anti-leukemic properties. And various root and bark extracts have demonstrated anti-tumorous and anti-cancer properties. Italian research reported in 2001 in vitro study that Casclaw directly, uh, directly inhibited the growth of human breast cancer cell inhibited growth of human breast cancer cell line by 90 percent. Another research group reported that it inhibited the binding of estrogens in human breast cancer cells in vitro. It's going to help balance the hormones in the body. Uh, very good in use in conjunction with chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, very good for... Uh, it, it. It's going to lessen the hair loss. It's going to lessen the weight loss, nausea, secondary infection, skin problems. It works to correct the DNA. It's a DNA cellular repair is what it is. Now, traditional preparations for general immune and preventative measures, practitioners usually recommend one gram daily of the vine powder uh, or in capsules or in a tincture. Therapeutic doses of cat's claw are reported to be as high as 20 grams daily. An average of two to three grams, two or three times a day. That's a pretty good tonic, two or three grams, two or three times a day. Generally as an aid for arthritis and bowel and digestive problems, three to five grams daily is recommended. Uh, if, if That's only if you're getting a really good product. Uh, alternatively, a standard uh, vine bark deconcoction can be made much of the same way the indigenous people of the Amazon used it. Uh, the doses for a standard deconcoction for general health and just as a daily maintenance can is is uh, one half to one cup of a deconcoction once daily and up to one cup three times daily in times of special need. Uh, add lemon juice and add ginger and to that or a little bit of vinegar. Uh, to the deconcoction when when you're boiling it, and this will help to extract more of the alkaloids out uh, and and fewer tannins from the bark. About half a teaspoon of lemon juice or vinegar per cup of water, uh, and not white vinegar because this isn't real vinegar. Don't use this. Uh, don't use apple cider. Use apple cider vinegar with the mother. Don't use white vinegar. This isn't even real vinegar here that they're selling that they're marketing and selling. Uh, for standardized and or proprietary extracts, f just follow the label that's, you know, on. if you get this one, just follow the label that's on it and just know that you can increase the dose. If After you take it the first time and you see how it does for you, get aggressive with it pretty fast if you want to would be my advice because the more you take of this in the beginning, the more it's going to heal and repair and correct your conditions. I love it. Uh, I took it daily for a while. I took it for two weeks straight in pretty high doses and then I backed off of it and then I hit it again for another month and then I backed 
backed off of it again. Uh, and, and now I just go to it as a general immune stimulant. I'll take this before the cold and flu season. I'll, I'll take it for a couple of weeks just in regular doses just as an immune stimulant. See, we don't need to be overstimulating the immune system in the body. There needs to be a healthy balance of everything. You, it is possible to overstimulate the immune system to where the, immu where the immune system is constantly wanting to attack. And we don't need this because this is over overexertion of the body and the, the energies within the body. And we need, to, we need to bring everything back in balance. So learn how these resonate and vibrate. And then that's, gonna in, it, that's going to indicate on how you take them. I recommend detoxifying your liver and your colon. And then you're going to know how you're going to want to consume any of these divine medicinals because your body will tell you. Your body will tell you how much is enough and, and what's, what's not enough and, and when to do more. Uh, it really will. Your, your, your mind, when it is rid from the parasites, will tell you this. Uh, peace, love, and positive vibrations. Have a great day. Stay tuned in for copper. Uh, apologize for my uh, pause in that video. I, I have three or four different uh, studies that I printed up and then I wrote some stuff down myself and I just wanted to make sure that I covered it all and I think that I did. Let me just give a quick skim over this to make sure that I did. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how I covered it. I didn't tell you specifically what all it had in it. Uh, let me just go through a few of these. It has quinovic acid glycosides. It has rinchofiline. It has rutin. It has cytosterols. It has stigmasterol. It has uncarine A through F and vicinic acid. I mean, all of these are what is going to balance. It's going to repair. It's going to correct some damage uh, to the DNA at the cellular level. So start taking this. Have a great day.